Hello everyone, this is Amritpal Singh. Welcome to the next video of Scala. In this video, I'll be talking about the third collection, which is called List. In the previous two videos, I have already talked about Array and Array Buffer. In this video, I'll be discussing the third one, which is called List. Let's get started. So List in a collection, List in a Scala is a collection which comes under the sequence class. So it is similar to the Array and Array Buffer because both these two collections have got same definition because uh, I've already have explained in the previous two videos that array or array buffer is a collection which comes under the sequence class. So list is not an exception. So the difference between array, array buffer and list now, it is this one that the list is an immutable collection. And hence when modified the original list, it doesn't get updated rather than a new list is created. This is the difference between list and the previous two collection, which is array and array buffer. But the similarity is that like arrays and array buffer list store the elements of the same type means homogeneous data will be stored in a list. How we can create a list? There are multiple ways available and there are multiple ways of creating of a, creating a list as, as well as there are multiple ways available to populate the list as well. Let's see the first one, how to create a list. We can use, we can create a list with the list keyword and we can specify the, all the uh, uh, elements uh, which are in this case are the fruit names through which list can be created and how we can create a list using the range use we can use range method in which i'm specifying here 1 comma 10 it means the data will be printed from 1 to 9 so it will be a 1 to 9 elements to be added to the list which is called integer list or int list how we can create a list using the fill method in which we are using 3 it means ubd will be filled three times to the my list how we can construct the list using double colon and nil double colon also known as cons which takes two argument first argument is a head and it's a single element and the second element is a tail which is the another list actually head and tail in the case of uh, this scala head means single element and tail will always be a remaining elements except the head so nil is used to represent an empty list and it is always used while constructing the list with the double column uh, this is a syntax we're gonna use uh, uh, to create a list using the cons operator. I'll be showing all the demo after this presentation. How we can append elements to the end of the list with the colon plus method. How we can prepend the elements means how we can add the elements to the beginning of a list using cons method or using the plus colon method. How we can concatenate the list means how we can merge the two lists together with the three colon, right? We can use this one to concatenate the list. And last point is head and tail. I already have explained that head will be representing single element and tail will be representing the remaining list except the first element. Now let's come, uh, go to the notepad file in which I've already written down all the important uh, uh, codes which are required to understand the things. Let's see how we can create a list using the first simple method in which we just have to pass the elements to the list keyword. So in this case, I'm just copy and pasting the code and in this way, list will be generated or created uh, with, of a string type. Although we can also use optionally the for each print talent method in which the data will be printed in a new line that we already have seen in the previous two videos as well. Right, just see the orange banana apple grape will be added in the new line. And we can also create a list using second method in which we are gonna use range method. And in this case, data will be added from one to nine in the list of integer list. It is of type integer. You can see there's a data from one to nine. Third one is I can uh, fill, fill up the my list uh, using the UBD three times. Let's see. In this case, I'm adding the UBD three times, right? Next one is uh, we can also uh, create a list using the cons op uh, method in which we are using double colon uh, after every element of a list. It is similar to the first method, but in this case, the difference is instead of adding the using the list keyword, I'm using the cons method, right? And next one is how we can append the elements. Let's suppose I want to add the element, uh, this one peach. Let's add the element, the peach to the existing fruit list. So in this case, I'm already having fruit list available. Let's add the peach. You can see peach got added at the last. Now how we can prepend the elements? We can prepend the elements using the uh, double double column. So let's suppose I'm gonna use uh, watermelon. I want to add watermelon in the beginning. Although in this case, there's no, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, watermelon can be added, yeah. 
let's see you can see watermelon got added at the very beginning now let's uh, i want to add mango at very beginning but instead of using uh, cons method i'm gonna use plus colon let's see i'm gonna add the uh, mango to the fruit list tree you can see now mango followed by watermelon and followed by other fruits are there so this is how we can prepend the elements right in the list now last is how we can concatenate the list in this case i'm gonna use three colon here right so let's uh, create one list here which is called two fruits i'm using this two fruits here so we already have fruit list four and two fruits so we'll be gonna merge these two together right so let's merge this this two together with the help of three colon right so pear apricot followed by other fruits you can see now pear apricot and other fruits got merged together this is how we can merge the things and last point is how we can print the head and tail as i've already stated that head will be representing single element and list will be representing all the elements except the first element you can see uh, the head is just representing pear the very first element but the other uh, the list uh, the tail will be representing all the other elements except the first element so this marks the end of the video of the list i hope you must have understood the contents rest of the contents i'll be covering in the, new, in the next video thanks for watching guys see you next video